what could it be? Um, we have a lot of text on Sirianni if he loses in the first round of the Bears. Well, I guess anybody if he loses in the first round. Well, the Bears is would be a seven seed, right? So whoever that seven seed would be, because they're not they're they're, they're going to get. Their but th- if they play the seven seed, that would mean that the Philadelphia Eagles are the number two seed in the NFC. Yes. So you would fire a guy who was the number two seed in the entire it's NFC so much because good. they won the division with only 11 wins and a tie break. Well, if they win the division with 11 wins, that would mean the NFC West and the NFC South winners would have less than 11 wins. So you'd have the second best record in the NFC. The way, and you would the fire way, a guy. The way the model projects would be uh, seven Bears at two Eagles, three 49ers at six Cowboys, four Buccaneers at five Packers, according to the model. So the Philadelphia Eagles would finish higher after the regular season than the 49ers, the Packers, Cowboys, the Cowboys, Bucks. the Bucks, and the Bears. And you would still say, but if they lose one game in the playoffs... Done. The fact that they finished higher than those teams and l- still lost at home to the Bears would make me fire them even more. I, I, w- I would be shocked if oh Jeffrey Lurie did I can't that. believe that you would even put yourself in the shoes I of Jeffrey I can't believe Lurie. that you would even think for a moment that he shouldn't be fired. How could you think for a moment that he should? Oh, my God. He lost to the Bears at home. After going 11-6 and six and winning the NFC Caleb East. Williams, a rookie, comes in here and beats your ass. And you're not going to fire that guy. Come on, man. Come on. Right, let's, let's get to the text board. What are they saying? So, and, and you're clearing house, oh too. Oh, my God. Stop Fangio's with, gone. Stop it with your Sirianni Kellen Moore thing. Is gone. Stop it. I can't take it anymore with your Sirianni thing. I can't take right? the Sirianni hate. Right, right, go ahead. All right, David, check it in. If the Eagles win the NFC East and lose to the Bears in first round, Sirianni should be the first coach getting axed. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Career record is 47 and 26, who's gone to the playoffs four straight seasons, who just won the division. You're going to fire a guy whose record is 47 is and 26. It's absurd. This guy is ridiculous. Because it's we ridiculous. are so overreactionary as a fan base in the city of Philadelphia, based off of seven games to end the season last this year. It'll be the second time they lost in the first round consecutively. Last year, they weren't a good team. And this one would be at home. If they win the division and go to the playoffs, he cannot get fired. I'm sorry. He can't. Okay. What if, okay, they win a, they lose a close game first round of the playoffs. He's fired? He's losing to the Bears. It's ridiculous. He's losing to a rookie quarterback at home. What, do you not factor that in? Who did Houston beat last year in the playoffs? I don't care. Was a rookie quarterback. I don't care. This is Houston. I think they beat. I, I'm judging what happens here. I think they beat the Colts, didn't they? I'm judging what happens here. I have no st- steam with any other organization. I have steam with this organization. So would you agree, though, that if they win the division and go to the playoffs, that Nick Sirianni has brought the Eagles to the playoffs all four seasons he's been a coach? Correct. That's a statement. That is a d- fact. D- d- here's the thing that I look at more than you. I look at the fact that they lost seven of eight. He had no idea how to control it. He was like uh, uh, Ralph Cramden. Uh, he had no idea. Now, now, now we go into the next year, and I'm going to watch his team lose at home to the Bears? Like, like This is the stock that I put in. I, I don't put in the stock. Well, he's the coach four years into the playoffs. I, I look at the traumatics of it. And that's, that, that, to me, defines a coach more than anything. If you are not have your team ready to play a playoff game at home and you lose to the seventh seed, the Bears, that may, that cuts more ice with me and you'd than, fire than, your, than your overall record. And, and you'd fire yes. him. Yes. And assume. I would have fired him after last year. Which would have been a mistake. <laughs> and you're going to assume that whatever coach they bring a, in here is so going to be better. It would have been a mistake to fire him last year, even though. If we project that and he loses again in the first round of the Bears, that you're telling me last year would have been a mistake. Would have been a mistake to fire him. Last even year would have been a mistake. Even though he didn't accomplish anything the next year, you're still going back. It would have been a mistake to fire him. You're saying not accomplishing anything. Winning the division and going to the they playoffs is accomplishing They lost to Tampa Bay and lost seven of eight. Would you stop it? They should not have fired him after last season. They should not have. 
You were one year removed from going to a Super Bowl. You were one year removed from having literally the best season in franchise history, and you were a half away from winning the damn Lombardi Trophy, and you want to fire a guy a year later. Too reactionary, Ladies Mike. and gentlemen, I need help today. Lord, I need help. <laughs> he does need help. Lord, please please get me through this day with Bill Colorado. He does need help. Listeners, please get me through this day with Bill. Please, 610-632-0975. I desperately need you today.